Now, when Thomas Baker tries to look back, he can't recall a single detail in the face of the man who ended his childhood sense of wonder. The mall Santa, who he had asked for a Sega Genesis 16 years earlier. Thomas learned that Santa Claus didn't really exist on the day that I came, when his parents looked at the unwrapped gift with wide-eyed terror and asked him if he knew who had brought it into their home. They had only unwrapped it after the detectives had gone back home to their families with no more information about Thomas's missing brother, Chris, than they had started with that morning. That was when a remark Thomas had earlier ignored came to mind. One Santa had made after he'd asked old Saint Nick for the coveted entertainment system in the mall the week before. He couldn't remember the face of the man, but the smell of his breath remains in his memory, even now. Okay, but I'll have to eat your little brother first. His breath smelled like pennies and gasoline. It was almost sweet and intoxicating. It gave Thomas a headache. Only a few chewed and broken child-sized bones turned up that spring after all the snow had melted. They were never able to confirm that they had belonged to Chris. Thomas's parents were divorced by then.